Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're checking out the Blood and Guts Mystic Enchant. So this one basically relies off your Eviscerate and your Execute um, Mutilate as well. We have that paired up with a couple Execute things. We have Deadly Combo, so your finishers have a chance per combo point to give you Deadly Combo, which is basically just a free Execute, which does extra damage. Uh, we also have the Quick Death here, which gives you extra haste for executing, which is going to tie in good for poisons, extra damage on the poisons. Um, just a counter poise, which is good filler here. Some agility, some energy, and energy regen. Um, extra damage with mutilate, and then extra damage with execute. The main gist here is basically stacking up the mutilate for combo points, um, hitting them with. I actually got dispatch as well, which is a nice filler. Um, it gives you extra ability with some damage, and also procs execute. So I'll show you here. Um, basically dumping that into combo points, using the combo points, which gives you execute, and then basically go over in. So, got some basic, uh, PvP warrior strategical abilities here as well. So we got the execute up here, we pop that, and then after that we just finish building up the combo points. We got execute kind of often with just random sudden death procs. Hit the dispatch, that gives you an execute. Still have those combo points, you hit the disembowel, which also does extra damage and mutilate here. And then that one basically just stacks up. And then when that goes through, you hit him with the slice and dice. You get another execute there for the combo points. Keep popping those mutilates. Pop of the execute when it comes up. And then when those combo points get up, use a dispatch. Free execute there. Get some bleeds on them. And then kind of just keep that rotation going. It does take a little bit to get to the maximum DPS. We also have this gloom grenade here, which I saw some pretty hefty damage going on for some other people. So I got it and I wanted to try it out. And then once you basically use the dispatch, you can use your disembowel if you want to bleed or if you want to do a exposed armor or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it does take a little bit of upkeep. You got to keep up your slice and dice, keep the execute procs going, as well as when you have uh, combo points, you got to make sure you dispatch first and then use the rest of them, which sometimes sucks because it's a lot of energy. Um, there's a few other perks I was looking at that might help with that, but um, so far so good. I'll show you some of the talents here. Uh, we have the usual agility and stamina stuff from the hunter tree. These are always coming handy. This just happened to drop. Um, nothing really in here. Let's see, rogue, we have quite a bit. We need remorseless attacks, which gives you a bunch of extra crit, um, which is also good. And then triggering this gives you five points of slice and dice, which is really good. Including with that, for slice and dice, I did also roll to cut the chase. I didn't want to put three into there because I was getting it so often and getting combo points so often I didn't need the 100% uh, chance. Extra energy, which is important. The mutilate, the uh, improved eviscerate, because that's what takes over and disembowel. Um, lethality, puncturing wounds, and some poison stuff here. Maybe on the poisons versus wind fury and the attack power buff, but I wanted to try to play with the poisons a little bit. We also have this down here for extra crit, um, mainly for this guy here. And then the poison and the bleed, especially in something like PvP, it's nice to have the 40% uh, energy regen there. There is a couple in the warrior tree. We got some bleeding stuff here, which also ties into attack speed and more damage. And then the sudden death is pretty important. The approved execute, because we we'll use that like crazy. Um, other than that, we are going with mainly wound and deadly poisons. Uh, wound is good for PvP, anybody's healing, and the deadly poison is just nice to stack up and keep the damage up. Right, we just got into a, a battleground here. We're actually winning, which is good, but I wanted to go over some of the extra stuff that we weren't really able to on the target enemy there. Uh, we also got the Battle Shout and the Blessing of Kings. Sometimes those are interchangeable depending what kind of buffs and stuff you could find, uh, especially in draft mode. Uh, we ended up getting the Strength of Earth totem, which uh, isn't too bad. And there's a couple other stuff that's kind of comes in handy, especially with PvP. Um, but the main thing here is getting those Execute procs off and hopefully not dying and uh, using those combo points up. Uh, this guy right here increases your rogue finish moon by 1% and gives you extra combo point. Um, I had that a while ago and it was nice because this melee gives you two. So you hit that twice and you have a free combo point from the last um, combo that you did. And it gives you a good strike for balance instead of running out of energy, you already have that combo point ready to go. Um, and then I went to this berserker thing and I don't think I really like it too much. So I think I'm gonna try to switch back to that. Um, and then whatever else you end up rolling. And sometimes I try to just do uh, the mutilate and the disembowel and execute combo. Sometimes that's good, but sometimes you need some extra. 
Oh, I got this backstab, which does a ton of damage. I think I might make it another backstab build shortly. It's a nice ability. Uh, good filler as well. That hemorrhage. But the, uh, the dispatch is nice because you get the extra damage boost for low targets, which falls in execute range, as well as you get the extra combo points for another execute. Um, I haven't really noticed a ginormous difference in like damage or anything like that, but it might be something good to uh, fall one way on the scale versus the other. Yeah, I'm kind of just getting stuck right here. Uh, I notice there's a lot more CC once you get to max level because people also have prioritized their abilities a little bit more. Uh, it's kind of difficult as a close range warrior rogue type uh, character here, but if you roll a little bit better for PvP, I only really have the charge. This Ghost Wolf comes in handy a little bit, but kind of sucks at the same time. Come on, little feet licker. Let's go. There we go. Um, especially on the target dummy, which it doesn't take away any damage uh, from PvP. It's, PvP takes quite a bit. And for some reason, I keep getting this uh, debuff too. I'm now in disarm. This debuff of the gear I have up here. Twisting Presence, which is kind of annoying because I already don't do a lot of damage because I don't really have great gear at the moment and not a lot of PvP power. But uh, the training dummy is nice because you don't get any debuffs like this or like uh, the PvP stuff because a lot of this stuff gives you extra damage, but it's like less in PvP, which kind of sucks. Alright boys, so we're sitting right around the 3000 mark between that and like 3500. I changed some talents around and kind of focused it more on instead of bleeding more so on the combo points and energy regen and then with a slice and dice i increased the uh that by about 10 seconds so it gives us enough time to get that back up by the remorseless attacks there and then we keep up with the dispatch because that gives us an extra execute especially when we're doing the disembowel it gives us a lot of damage here and then uh just basically just keeping that cycle up we're sitting in the mid 3000s so are not too bad so far especially once you get the uh slice and dice up you're doing pretty good of course, this is going to change in like a scenario where mobs are dying and stuff like that, but keeping it all a solid rotation, I think, is doing pretty good. Um, another big important thing is trying to get as much damage out while your Gloom Blade is up, as well as your Disembowel bonus is up. I think that gives you a big jump in damage. And the energy seems to just be enough as long as you time everything pretty decently. It's not too bad. Alright, so we took out all these blood bleeding type abilities here. Uh, this all looks the same. And we went with this guy here, Ruthlessness. We got this Focus Attacks maxed out. We got this Murder here, Physical Nature Damage. And then we got Prey on the Weak. That's 10% versus this one's only 6 max. As long as you start off combat good, you, they have less health. You'll be good on that. That's the extra 10%. And then in terms of crit, we have 43 just baseline. And then, basically with Mutilate, we're probably going to be maxing out in crits every time. And it's double crits too, because there's two weapons. And then also with this guy here, Dual Spec, off uh, offhand weapons deal full damage, which is probably important too. Alright boys, we actually just got into a heroic, the Slave Pen, so these guys all have quite a bit of health. I want to see how we be doing on this. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. The only thing that kind of sucks about the dungeons here is uh, that everything dies pretty quickly, especially once you get higher levels. So trying to get the uh, rotation down, unless you're on a boss, is a little bit challenging. I don't know what kind of crazy stuff this Dr. Apple guy's been doing with like 13k DPS. But uh, other than that, we're second. See what we can do with this guy here. Drop our totem too. Sorry about this crappy angle. We gotta get close enough to him to, to hit him. Just gonna spam the execute now. He's gone. So yeah, boys, that's the uh, Blood and Guts talent combined with the uh, Deadly Combo there. Pretty good so far. Um, definitely getting the rotation down, getting used to it. it takes a little bit, but that's all of them, I guess. Um, mainly focus on these couple abilities here, and then whatever else you want to apply with it. I think energy is a big part of that. 
Uh, I was also thinking there is a poison. Uh, let's see. This in Venom one, a little bit of extra damage, but I don't think the poison is really going to do that much damage compared to this uh, haste there. And any other talents that you might come by. I think most of them are probably going to be assassination tree just because of what it is, especially with mutilate. But I was also thinking a cool idea for this backstab. It requires a dagger in the main hand. What if you did fury? Titan's grip with two-hander on the offhand. Stay tuned.